Unveiling the meaning behind pruning the branches. Hello, everyone. Welcome back to our channel. Today, we're diving into an interesting English expression, pruning the branches. This phrase can be taken literally or figuratively, and understanding both uses will help you grasp the nuances of the English language. Let's get started and explore what it means to prune the branches. When we talk about pruning the branches, in a literal sense, we're referring to the physical act of cutting away parts of a plant or tree. This is often done to remove dead or overgrown branches, to improve the plant's health, or to shape the plant in a more aesthetically pleasing way. Gardeners and farmers use various tools, like pruning shears or saws, to carefully cut the branches, ensuring the plant can grow more vigorously. In a figurative sense, pruning the branches means to remove unnecessary or unwanted parts or aspects of something to improve its overall condition or efficiency. This could apply to various contexts, such as business, where a company might prune less profitable divisions to focus on its core strengths. Or, in personal development, it might mean cutting out bad habits or negative influences to foster personal growth. This metaphorical use emphasizes the idea of making selective reductions to enhance the health or success of the remaining parts. To help solidify your understanding, let's look at some examples of how pruning the branches might be used. 1. In a business context, the new CEO started pruning the branches by downsizing redundant departments to streamline operations. 2. Personal growth. I've been pruning the branches in my life by spending less time on social media and more on my hobbies and personal development. 3. Creative projects. After reviewing the first draft of my novel, I realized it was time to start pruning the branches to focus on the main storyline. Whether you're talking about gardening or making strategic decisions in life or work, pruning the branches is all about making careful cuts to encourage growth and improvement. We hope this video has shed light on this versatile expression and helped you understand how it can be applied both literally and figuratively. Thank you for watching, and we look forward to seeing you in our next video. Remember, learning English is an adventure, and we're here to explore it together. Happy learning!